Hello and welcome. You're watching a video demo for the Robotic Labyrinth game. The Robotic Labyrinth game was a senior design project done at the University of Texas at Arlington. Uh, it was done over the course of the summer 2009 and fall 2009 semesters. The idea behind the project was that we were going to build a robot that could solve a wooden labyrinth game autonomously. And we wanted to do it in a way such that we didn't script the movements or the solution to the maze. We wanted a robot that could actually look at the maze, figure out where the start and end location is, and try and solve it on its own. So this was a four-man project done by Team Minos, which I am a member of myself. Uh, we had two members here today because um, two of them, Akihiro Take and Aaron Serenovich, could not be here because it is the winter break and they're currently at home visiting their family. So today Vincent and I are going to talk a little bit about what, she, what each of us did on the project, uh, our roles as far as implementation, and then after that we're going to actually show you a demo of the Robotic Labyrinth game so you can see how it works. Hello, once again my name is Chris Tucker and my primary role as far as implementation was concerned is to act as the hardware lead for the project. So this entailed uh, selecting the different hardware components that were going to be used by the system, as well as uh, designing how the parts were going to be used individually and together. Uh, and once I had the design down, I then uh, was in charge of carrying out the implementation for all the hardware. Uh, in addition to this, um, towards the end of the project, I also worked a little bit on the padding algorithm of the robotic labyrinth hearing game to help with the AI a little bit. Hello, my name is Vincent Delaney. I was team leader for Team Minos. Uh, aside from my team leader responsibilities, I was responsible for creating the mapping algorithm, which found the features of the labyrinth, which included the start location, end location, path, holes, and walls on the labyrinth board. Uh, to do this, there was a camera facing down onto the labyrinth board which would take a snapshot and send it back to the main system. I was also responsible for creating the tracking algorithm, which found the location of the ball on the labyrinth board. Uh, in addition to these two algorithms, I worked on the pathing algorithms, which figured out where the ball needed to be moved to to solve the labyrinth. And next, I'll show you a demo of the robotic labyrinth game. All right, this is the Robotic Labyrinth game in its entirety. Right here is the camera that we use for tracking and for the mapper. We have our labyrinth board here with the holes, the path that runs all along the board, our start location, which is an arrow, our end location, which is a star, and our walls, which are, again, all over the board. And we have our ball, which we are trying to move along this path all, all the way to the end location. We have our stepper motors right here and right here, which are fitted with custom grips that sit on the knobs and tilt the board in the X and Y direction. We have our circuit board here with a pick chip on it, which control the motors, as well as a USB connection connecting to the uh, circuit board to the PC and we have our kill switch in case we mess something up and we need to turn the motors off instantaneously and here we have our PC running Windows XP and on top of that running MATLAB which is our main control and uh, number crunching of the system and finally we have our speakers which play the lovely music during different times in execution